President Trump's push, Jenny, for that border wall funding. This is something he's been pushing for for a long time. And even though over the last week or so, the White House had given indications that he would be willing to sign a bill to continue to fund the federal government even without that border wall money, he started earlier in the week to feel the pressure of some more conservative members of his own party, both here on Capitol Hill and in the media, to really push for that border wall funding, seeing as the House of Representatives here on Capitol Hill will turn over to the opposing party, to the Democrats after the first of the year, those conservative members trying to impress upon the president how this fight is going to look a lot different after the first of the year. So yesterday, after the Senate had already uh, approved what is known as a clean continuing resolution to continue to fund the U.S. federal government that was likely to go over to the House and also passed, President Trump told the House Speaker Paul Orion that uh, he would not sign a bill that did not have the money for that border wall funding. And so that is where we stand right now. The real crux of this debate is between Senate Democrats who don't want to yield to the president and, of course, the president himself who has said he's not signing legislation until he gets money for border security, Jenny. So what are the different stands uh, in the Democrats and the Republicans about the funding of the wall? Well, Senate Democrats have been very firm in saying that they are not voting for this. And this is where it becomes key. We've heard President Trump talking a lot about the Senate Democrats in particular. And that is because the margin between Republicans and Democrats is much smaller in the U.S. Senate here than it is in the House of Representatives. Uh, so a lot, a little, uh, fewer rooms for error, fewer votes to lose for that. The other thing that's key here is that uh, to pass in the U.S. Senate, they need 60 votes. Votes. And the idea of 10 Democrats in the U.S. Senate supporting President Trump's $5 billion request for this border wall is so unlikely. And Senate Republican leaders tried to impress this upon the president, but he did not seem to want to listen to it. And so he sent the vice president and some other top aides over to Capitol Hill late this afternoon to try to see what kind of deal could be cut. One of the proposals floating out there is apparently for $1.6 billion in, in border security funding. Uh, the White House team didn't seem to think that would fly with the president. So that's really where we are right now.